How y'all doing? Uh, happy Thursday, my world. Happy whenever you'll see this in your world, okay? Bienvenidos a mi canal. Welcome back to my channel. If you know me, thank you so much for coming back to see a girl. I appreciate you. If you do not recognize this face right here, my bad. My name is Latrice. Nice to meet you. And this right here is Faith by Latrice. Yes, where faith is the muscle we exercise around here. Now let's get on into it. No dilly dallying. Me down. Let's start this off by saying I'm tired. My stomach kind of hurt a little bit. And, um... Got that on that, but guess what? This morning, once again, because it's a miracle, I feel like my eyes is crossing. This morning, I was listening to another um installment of this miracle week with Change Church, right? Pastor Darius Hannah's what's up? So today we're two people, uh Pastor Deli and Pastor Deshaun. I don't know his last name. Forgot it. Anyways, something they said. Mm, Something Pastor Dudley said. He said, because we're talking about miracles, we're talking about prayers being answered. We're talking about being being in expectation. I'm sorry. I'm talking fast because I'm tired. We're talking about miracles, prayers being answered, expectation, what we're believing God to do in our lives. Boom. Pastor Dudley said, what you do while you need a miracle determines how and when you get the miracle. Oh, gosh. Let that sink in. They talked about expectation and thanksgiving. Are you believing the thing you're praying for? Are you believing the thing you're working for? Are you believing the thing that you're asking for, right? Asking God for it. And I know, pause. I know there are going to be people that come across this video. Oh, come across this video right now. Come across my channel, my page, my whatever you're scrolling and you see me. I know there are going to be people who don't believe in God, don't follow God, don't follow religion. Who see me. That, That's fine. That's your business. But what I'm hoping for is that even though right now you may not believe in God, a faith, a religion, or whatever, that this still stirs your faith to believe in something, to believe for something to happen in your life. Because we all need something. I don't care what you believe in. We all need something to happen in our life. Some of us need miracles. Some of us just need the prayer to get answered. Some of You get what I'm saying? So he said, expectation and thanksgiving. Mm. It's a trust. No. It's an expression of my trust in God. First of all, to be in expectation of something, that means you believe it's going to happen. You believe to expect something is to believe you waiting on it. My God, to expect it means you're waiting on it. And that also shows my trust in God to be who he said he is. Let me tell you another thing they said. Oh, God. Just speak. I don't remember which one of them said this. Just because. God is not talking to you about the problem does not mean he's not talking to someone else about the solution. <sighs> they gave one story in the Bible. It was Elisha and um, a woman who's he was going to go to her house. Right. Da, da, da. The example that just thought that came in my head was the children of Israel and Moses. The children of Israel were in bondage. They were basically enslaved by the Egyptians all this time, right? 400 years and people was enslaved. 400 years they were oppressed by the, by the Egyptians. They cried out to God one day. Finally, they were just so fed up enough that they cried out and was like, God, help us. We've been oppressed by these people for centuries now. Help us. God did not answer them. God didn't, you know, directly speak to them. God started talking to Moses. Sir, I'm going to need you to go tell Pharaoh, let my people go. Pharaoh's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, I don't speak. No, I don't speak well. I'm slow at speech. All the things. He gave all these excuses. Blah, blah, blah. The point is, the children of Israel cried out to God. God didn't answer them. God started talking to somebody else. God was talking to the answer while, the, while you still worried about the problem. God is working on the answer. Okay. Just believe it's going to work out. That's the... Jesus. Ah! Okay. Expectation and Thanksgiving. He said, Thanksgiving is rooted in reality that God is a faithful God, right? But that he has a history of performing miracles. But it's also showing, my goodness... They were talking about, see, this, there's a theme in this right here with having faith and believing for miracles. If you need a miracle now, it's probably not the first time you've needed one, right? If you needed a prayer answered now, probably not the first time in your life you've needed one, right? And before, like we said, just think about all the times where 
God did come through for you before, where things did work out for you before, where you ended up, it all ended up working out. So that means in this situation, whatever you're going through right now, you can say, you know what? I'm going to be thankful in advance because I believe and I trust that God's going to do what he said he's going to do. The children of Israel and what they were saying is to practice these things, right? If you're in the middle of something, practice being thankful for what you already have, for the fact that you're already sustained. You're already, you're surviving what you're in. You're sustained in what you're in. Practice that. Establish a practice right now so that when you get to the thing, it's easy to say thank you, God. Because you already said thank you for in the time that you're... Does that make sense? The children of Israel did not do that. They complained and complained and complained. When Moses, who was the answer to their problem, came, they complained and complained and complained. They kept complaining. They did not develop a heart of gratitude and thanksgiving. So the time... God said, I'm going to take you out to this wilderness. What was supposed to take 11 days in the wilderness turned into 40 years. They kept complaining and complaining, complaining. They never saw God is helping me through the la la la. They kept complaining. The point of this all, establish a routine right now of gratitude in your heart. Thanksgiving, be aware, look at the things you already have and believe that it's going to happen for you. That's really, that's it. Go on about your business. Believe it's going to happen for you. Oh God, believe it's going to happen for you. That's it. See, nadie te ha dicho hoy esta día que te estoy hablando a ti mismo en this hot car. If nobody's told you today, I want to tell you I love you. And I love me too. Because listen, life be lifing. But guess what? We are going to prosper regardless. I'm hot. I'm sweating.